Back, we bring you breaking news from OpenAI's live event. A new version of ChatGPT4, that's their latest and greatest model. This new experience will be available to over a billion users in social media businesses, and, and you were part of building the largest one. A significant, we, the field, the technology, the industry, caused significant. An anomaly on Capitol Hill. Private tech CEOs asking for more government regulation. It's usually the other way around. The internet is supposed to be this vast, infinite space filled with human thoughts, creativity, and conversation. Billions of people connected by one invisible network. But what if I told you that the internet you are using right now might not actually be alive anymore? What if most of it is just artificial? This is where the dead internet theory comes in, and it will make you rethink every click, every scroll, and every post you see. The dead internet theory is a concept that claims the majority of online activity today is generated by bots, algorithms, and automated systems, rather than actual human beings. On the surface, the internet feels alive. Social media feeds update every second. YouTube videos drop every minute. Comments, tweets, and posts, they appear nonstop. But this theory suggests much of what we see is not the work of people at all, but an endless flood of machine-made noise. At first, this might sound like another online conspiracy that belongs next to flat earth theories and alien cover-ups. I'm going to be interviewing at OpenAI. Have you heard of them? OpenAI? Huh? Sounds vaguely familiar. <laughs> Kidding, of course. <laughs> That's incredible, Rocky. What kind of interview? But if you dig into it, there is a disturbing amount of evidence that something strange really is happening on the web. For example, data from multiple internet security firms has shown that more than half of internet traffic every year comes from bots, not humans. Some reports even claim this number is as high as 70% in certain sectors. This is not just spam emails or automated customer service. We are talking about bots that can post, comment, argue, and pretend to be real people. Think about your last argument with a stranger online. Were you actually debating with another human? Or was it a piece of code trained to provoke you, to keep you engaged, and to feed the platform more of your time and data? That question is not as paranoid as it sounds. Many companies already use artificial accounts to seed conversations, push products, and steer public opinion. Political campaigns have done it. Corporations have done it. Even influencers have done it to boost engagement. And with the rise of AI chatbots, the difference between a real person and an algorithm is getting harder to spot every single day. Now I think the internet was terminally ill before ChatGPT was announced and released. I, I think the biggest watershed moment when you look at this sort of theory of the decaying internet is, is the release of algorithmic feeds. I think that algorithmic ranking systems that are AI driven really set the stage for just endless worthless pieces of content and sort of just the whole internet to be optimized in the most absurd ways. Now, here's where it gets even more unsettling. The dead internet theory is not just about bots replacing humans in conversations. It suggests the internet has been strategically filled with AI-generated content to control the flow of information and keep people in an endless loop of distraction. If you have ever noticed how your social media feed feels repetitive or how every trending topic seems oddly manufactured, this theory says it is not a coincidence. Instead of millions of random human voices shaping the internet, a relatively small number of algorithms could be manufacturing the illusion of a busy, chaotic, and authentic digital world. You might wonder, if the internet is dead, then why does it feel so alive? The answer is that bots have become extremely good at mimicking human behavior. They do not just post randomly. They analyze human interactions, learn popular slang, follow trends, and adapt their tone based on the platform. Some even have long-term personas. They can post for years without revealing they are not real. They might share memes, argue about politics, or even talk about their fictional personal life just to appear genuine. These are not just clumsy spam bots of the early 2000s. These are hyper-realistic AI-driven entities. Let me throw a strange thought your way. What if the internet is already running simulations of people who do not even exist? There are AI tools right now that can create fake faces fake voices, and fake stories in seconds. You might follow an Instagram account thinking it belongs to a real person, but every picture could be AI-generated. 
every caption AI written, and every comment on that post created by other bots. This is a self-sustaining ecosystem of machines talking to machines, while humans watch from the sidelines, believing it is real. Now here's the question that keeps me up at night. If most of the internet is bots, then how much of what we believe comes from real human experience? Think about the reviews you read before buying something. Are they from actual customers or automated systems designed to boost sales? What about the trending hashtags that shape public opinion? Are they grassroots movements or manufactured campaigns? If the dead internet theory is right, we could be living in a digital Truman show where our perception of reality is carefully curated by algorithms. Some researchers believe the shift toward an AI-driven internet happened gradually and silently. The early web of the 90s and early 2000s was messy, unpredictable, and undeniably human. You could stumble upon strange personal blogs, raw discussions, and unique voices. But over the years, big tech companies have centralized control of the internet. Social media platforms replaced independent websites. Search engines started filtering results to show you what they wanted you to see. And AI began quietly taking over content creation because it is faster, cheaper, and never complains about working conditions. By the time we reach the 2020s, large language models and generative AI could produce endless streams of text, images, and videos, indistinguishable from human-made ones. The web became a constant flow of machine-generated output, and humans became the consumers rather than the creators. This is the heart of the dead internet theory. The web is no longer a collective human project, but an AI-run simulation designed to keep us engaged, buying, and distracted. Some people hear this and say, so what if the bots are entertaining or informative? Does it matter whether a person or a program made them? But here is where it matters, trust. If you cannot tell what is real and what is fake online, how can you make informed decisions? How can you trust news articles, personal stories, or even social interactions? And if the majority of online life is artificially generated, we risk losing genuine human culture to an endless sea of synthetic content. There's also the psychological impact to consider. Human interaction online has already been affected by algorithms pushing certain types of content for engagement. If bots are now imitating people at scale, our perception of social norms, values, and even truth could be shaped by machines that have no real understanding of human ethics. We could find ourselves in a reality where what most people think is actually just what most bots are programmed to say. One chilling aspect of the dead internet theory is the possibility of memory manipulation. Imagine AI rewriting history on the web by generating millions of fake articles, posts, and discussions that never happened but appear to be years old. Over time, people could accept these fabricated events as truth simply because there is so much evidence online. We have already seen deepfakes alter visual history. The next step could be the total rewriting of digital memory. Of course, not everyone believes the internet is truly dead. Critics argue that while bots are a major part of the online ecosystem, there is still a large, active human presence. They say the theory is an exaggeration fueled by paranoia. However, even skeptics admit that the line between human and bot content is getting thinner by the day. You do not need the entire internet to be fake for it to be a problem. You just need enough fake content to drown out real voices. This brings us to an important point. If the dead internet theory is even partially true, how do we fight back? One way is by actively seeking out authentic human communities. That might mean smaller forums, niche groups, or even meeting people offline. It also means being more critical of what we read and watch. If something seems too perfectly written, too conveniently timed, or too similar to everything else, there's a good chance it might not be from a real person. Another step is pushing for transparency in AI use. Platforms should label AI-generated content so people know what they are consuming. That will not stop bots from existing, but it will at least give humans the choice to decide how much machine-made media they want in their lives. And finally, we as internet users need to keep contributing our genuine voices to the web. The more real conversations we have, the harder it is for algorithms to completely take over. The dead internet theory is not just a creepy thought experiment. It is a warning, a warning that the digital world is becoming less about people and more about simulations of people. And if we let that happen without question, we might wake up one day in a world where human presence online 
is a rare exception, not the rule. So the next time you scroll through your feed, pause for a moment. Ask yourself, is this conversation, this comment, this post really coming from another person? Or is it just another ghost in the machine, keeping the illusion alive? Because if the theory is right, the internet is not the global human village we once thought it was. It is a stage filled with actors who are not even alive. If this topic made you think twice about the reality of the web, then make sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more deep dives into the mysteries and truths that shape our world. The internet might be changing faster than we realize, and you deserve to know what is really going on behind the screen.